I've stepped down from being on top of the world. I was losing my standing. It was becoming impossible to maintain balance. My crown was beginning to crumble, become weathered. Isn't it strange weather we're having in 2019? I'm fed up of my body being used as a symbol of virtue to uphold patriarchal values and imperialistic ideals. I'm sick of being the poster girl for perpetuating retribution. I wonder what the future will hold. It is my privilege to be here in 2019 speaking to you from 100 years in the future. Time travel is still in its infancy and full of perils, however the experience is exquisite. I am the great granddaughter of artist Anya Phillips and I left my own home time on the 14th of March 2119. It's so nice to meet you, Anya, and telepathically communicate with all this current talk of Brexit and taking back control of laws and borders. Things seem to be increasingly unstable here. In the future, is there global peace? Our world motto in 2119 is unity and diversity. The terrible Brexit which you are now facing will be halted in favour of a deepening bond with Europe and the rest of the world. The entire problem will be solved as a result of a mass occupation of the Northern Ireland border by the co-joined populations of Ireland and the UK, especially women and children. The occupation will happen over the summer of 2019 as 2 million people camp along the 499 kilometres of border, making a human chain which can be seen from space. How inspiring that people gathered together to prevent the imposition of a hard border on the island of Ireland. But many global leaders today seem to be obsessed with building walls, fortifying borders and restricting freedom of movement. Do borders still exist in the future? In my home time, no more borders exist, except those in our imaginations. It is so difficult to envisage such global harmony in the present day when there is so much suffering and discrimination. In the future, conflict is eradicated due to the equitable sharing of resources. World citizens enjoy freedom from need as well as freedom of mobility. Everyone has the same basic living wage. Some like to augment that through entrepreneurial ventures, but most of us are delighted to enjoy life and relationships without slaving for daily necessities. I've noticed that those obsessed with controlling laws and borders, with building walls, are often equally preoccupied with controlling the female body and restricting reproductive rights. For instance, despite it being part of the UK, there is no access to safe and legal abortion services in Northern Ireland. So what of reproductive justice in the future? One of the most fundamental changes we made to facilitate this paradigm shift is that reproductive science developed an external womb so all genders can choose to gestate and give birth. We freed biological females from this vassalage of control, exploitation and inequality experienced since the beginning of human existence. We do not deny reproduction has its rewards. That is why we equip all people for this joyful task. This momentous development resulted in a profound turn in social organisation which utterly dismantled patriarchy and capitalism. Your job now as people of the 21st century is to make all these revolutions happen. No pressure. Welcome to the future. Let's get started on the revolution.